All right. When I get this half, if you want to spiral right every time, that's fine, but that's not the primary uh, thing. Basically, I had to spiral right, guys, when I was a freshman in high school because I needed to break them down before I had the, you know, before they had an opportunity to get out, and then that means I would lose my opportunity to rip his head off. So I wanted to make sure I could control his hips. But by, uh, by my sophomore year, it was ready, wrestle. Ready, wrestle. Ready, wrestle. Once I've got this one-on-one -on -one wrist with the hat, I pull the wrist back and hook. I pull the wrist back and hook. Now, before I said, you don't want to have the half like, like, uh, you know, like you're dribbling or, you know, following through. You want it like a karate chop. Here's the reason why. Dave, take your hand, put it like it is. All right. Now, this guy's supposed to be a tough guy. Okay, he's supposed to be good. So that means he should be strong. All right. My shoulders here. My head is here. Do not let me push your hand back. Did you hear me? What did they say? Don't let me push your hand back. Do not. Keyword not. Shoulder, head, do not let me push it. <laughs> do not let me push your hand back. Oh my god. All right, now do you see where I'm talking about when you have the half and he brings his neck back because there's no power and stuff? Karate chop. Do not let me push your hand up. Ready? Go. Again, ready? Go. Again, ready? Go. Okay, make believe you're fake. I mean, basketball player. <laughs> do not let me push your hand up. All right, there's no way he can stop me. This neck is so much stronger than the wrist like this, but if you turn it like a karate chop and have all your weight on there, they can't do nothing. So, once I have this power half, all the weight's on his head, now I can grab the wrist, pull it back to a hook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make believe that these five fingers are American armies. They are going to report to General Mills for their mission. What's our mission? Kill, commie, and move. <laughs> now, when I used to wrestle, it wasn't all Qaeda or uh, the Taliban, it was the commies. We used to have a, a, a saying, kill the commie for your mommy, and he did a good deed for the day. Oh, speaking of that, where's Mad Russian? Mad Russian? Did he really? Did he really? Oh! I had a song for him and everything. I think it kind of went like this. I got all my weight on here. I pour this back. I've got the hook. These five American armies support the generals with garbage and kill the commie elbow. Okay, boss. Now, his right elbow over there is the commie elbow. The communist. Back then, it wasn't the wrestlers we didn't like. It was the communist government, but it was a great excuse to kill, you know, kill the commies and beat the Russians. So we say, kill the commie for your mommy. We did a good deed for the day. So, now, remember, I say you report to General Mills. Don't touch your hands, Phil Nelson. Report. Have respect, not like I'm sure a lot of you guys at home, you know, you'll be down here at the bottom of the stairs yelling and screaming, Ma, I can't find my jet. Report, Ma, I can't find my jet. You know, make sure you have respect to everybody. You respect your ossifers. What I mean, kill commie elbow. Okay, boss, we need backup. Now, don't be down here, you know, saying, hey, General Mills, what's our mission? And all of a sudden, the commie's gonna hear you sneak around. I'm <laughs> gonna kill you guys. All right? So make sure it's nice and tight, just like it is. Now, these five American armies are in enemy territory. We need backup, General Mills. No problem. So I send in the Sherman tank. <laughs> right now, he's staring right down the barrel. <laughs> All right? Now these five American armies can parachute down. <laughs> we trap the Russian elbow with the right hip. <laughs> We accidentally on purpose boot him in the top of the head. <laughs> then we sneak up and kill the commie elbow. Is this getting tighter, Dave? <laughs> All right. So, got the half. Right here. Now they're all the weights on the head. You can take the power arm, grab the wrist, get the hook. Oh, it's our mission. Kill commie elbow. Okay, boss. <laughs> Parachute down. Trap the Russian elbow. Oops, excuse me, I didn't mean to boop you in the top of the head. Push it. And then you sneak up and kill the commie elbow. Dun, 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 dun. All right? Now, what happens is, when I boop him in the top of the head, my goal is to tuck his chin so he can't bridge. That's all it is. I boop him in the top of the head, I kick him once, and only once. It is accidentally 
on purpose. It's not on purpose, guys. Otherwise, that would be like <whistles> unnecessary roughness, one point for the little guy. Okay? Don't do that. One time, I didn't mean to do it. <whistles> Stay right there. Then, then once you get there, you parachute down. If you parachute down too early, what's going to happen is these elbows are going to unlock. So if I parachute down too early, my elbows are going to unlock. So I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight the whole time. Now as I drive, now I can parachute down. Then when I trap the Russian elbow, I turn my right hip over the elbow. I just want to crimp his head once, right to here. All right. Then when I sneak up and kill the commie elbow, his chin is stuck in his chest. You're wrenching his arms. <laughs> It's very, very uncomfortable for the bottom man. But remember, at that point in time, you've got to believe he's the commies. <laughs> Any questions how to kill the commies, guys? No? What are you waiting for? Let's kill them commies.